Hi everybody, this is Mythica Janae. I'm going to talk about some new Godzilla merchandise information. And finally, Sideshow Collectibles finally released various pictures of their Godzilla Sideshow Collectibles statue or figure, even though I like calling it statue. Sideshow Collectibles, if you don't know, is this company that makes statues of many characters that include um, some superheroes such as Captain America and all that stuff. And also some kaijus, not a lot of them, but just some of them, such as Slattern, uh, what else? Strike Rika, uh, this Godzilla figure that I'm about to show you, the Godzilla 2014, etc., etc. And as I already mentioned already a few seconds ago, yes, they, um, they released various pictures of their Godzilla 2014 Sideshow Collectible statue. Um, so anyway, so let's get into the pictures. There's plenty of pictures. So I won't show all of them, I'll just show around five of them approximately, actually no, six of them approximately, but there's way, I mean way more, probably around like, I'll say probably around 15 or so. So I'll give you the link to all the pictures in the description below if you can check them out yourself. But anyways, here we go with the pictures, so this first picture that I chose right here, we see Godzilla roaring through the sky, in the background we can see the pyramid building, and very nice detail, amazing looking face. Especially inside the mouth, that tongue right there. And then right here it says Godzilla, Makedi or Makiti. I don't know really how to pronounce it. I don't think it's Makiti. Probably Makedi or something. And then right here in the background we see some helicopters and it looks like the Godzilla 2014 like merchandise and all this. Just the overall, uh, how can I say, it? marketing or merchandise or whatever. They really like the orange reddish like color scheme for some odd reason. But anyways, that's the first picture. Next image right here. Um, okay, here it is. Next image, we see Godzilla roaring to the sky. And one thing is that I don't think the paint or the color was actually this color. I mean, it it possibly was. I mean, because there was a lot of dark shots in the movie. There were really any day shots with Godzilla, except for the final scene and also some parts in the beginning also. Um, but, or in the middle, whatever. But I don't think it was this type of gray. I think it'd be like a little more darker gray or something. Maybe it's like a combination of brownish grayish or something. Maybe he was like a completely black. I don't think he was completely black like 1984 and some of the Heisei Godzilla suits or designs. But he was this kind of more darkish color in my opinion. And as again, the mouth, beautiful, looks gorgeous. The teeth, very nicely detailed. They do look deformed a little. You know, they're not evenly placed, which is pretty good. For it can look more realistic. And right here, the gills, very nicely detailed. Really, a lot of emphasis on the gills, a lot of detail. And that's basically it. So, that's the second image, third image. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Next image, we just see the overall statue. And I really like the position of his hand. There's one hand that's like literally sagging, I guess you can say, all the way down. Another one, it's kind of like, uh, how can I? Oh man, I can't believe I just forgot what that movement like bending its arm. Yeah, that's that's the that's the word I was trying to find. But the detail very nice. The spikes are very 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 nice, and the te I mean excuse me not the teeth. The feet are very very nice. Also, they're in this platform right here, and there's some debris in the ground or whatever. It looks very nice. I really like the statue, but there is actually this gap right here in the tail. If you notice. There's this gap of no spikes, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, I wonder if you have to put on the tail. I don't think you have to put on the tails. I, I do not own any Sideshow Collectible figures. Uh, so I do not know if you have to put on the tail or whatever, such as the X Plus figures. Not really sure about that. I always imagine them just all together in one piece. But it could possibly just be where you have to connect them, possibly. So that's the third image. Fourth image is basically the same exact thing, except in a different shot. Right here, there is some tints of, like, some splats of some blue and some green. Green? I'm not really sure about the green, because um, I haven't really saw green at all in the film. Uh, maybe there might be some shots with green. Maybe, but from what I noticed, there was no shots of green. Um, I have seen the movie again, and I have seen no shots of green in Godzilla design. But the blue is a very nice addition. And also, the green is also a pretty nice addition, but I'm just saying 
That is, it, I, don't, I didn't sign the movie, the green paints or whatever. But the blue, very nice. Obviously, also in the neck, I got Zilla 2014 figure, and even the the uh, the 24 inch one and the 12 inch one. Well, some of the 12 inch ones had some, but other ones I didn't. But anyways, the nice tint of blue looks very nice. I also really like the detail right here in the neck. Very beautiful. Uh, what else? Uh, nearly the last image. Right here we have the fifth image right here. I guess this is a size comparison with an apple. As you see there, I think I'll probably say that the apple's probably around Godzilla's feet, probably, maybe. I'm not really sure. This figure is actually very, very gigantic. Just imagine an apple. Like, whenever you're watching this video, I know you're watching this video, if you're actually listening to me. But, um, just imagine, just look around your table or wherever you're placing the computer. Just imagine an apple. And then, right next to it, just imagine the Sideshow Collectibles Godzilla figure. Just imagine that. Just how gigantic that will be. He's going to be one gigantic figure. And that means a lot of money. It's going to cost a lot of money. I'll uh, probably, I don't know. I don't know how much it's going to cost. Like $500 or something? I'm not really sure, honestly. Hopefully, he's not so, um, not so costly. Hopefully it's like a little more cheaper, but I have a really big feeling it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be really, really pricey. But overall, um, as we see the, here in this image, very nicely detailed. And last image, probably my favorite image out of uh, all of them that I've shown. Right here, this beautiful image. Wow, this looks gorgeous. Look at all that spectacular detail. Man, and we have... Some dirt marks around here, if you notice very carefully, which is actually pretty good for it can give that, like, rusty, not rusty, but, like, this battle damage kind of look or something. Like, it's been in a fight, or, like, you know, it's trying to fight off against some mutos or something. But, whoa, this looks, wow. I think the eye should be a little bigger, honestly. I think the eye should be a little bigger. But overall, man, this looks gorgeous, and that reflection of the orange really helps it to make it stand out more. Overall, beautiful, beautiful. So that's basically it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoy. Tell me in the comment below, are you planning to get a Sideshow Collectibles Godzilla figure? And also tell me in the comment below, um, how much you think the price for this statue will be. So anyways, and for this video, subscribe, like, and comment. This is Mother Kaiju, signing out.